Hello everyone, I'm Alice. Today we are going to talk about prepare for your marketing on social media. There are four important things you should bear in mind. Firstly, conversations happen with or without you. Secondly, you should understand a community. And thirdly, come bearing gifts. And finally, every business is different. We will discuss in detail about these important things in the next part. The first thing you should keep in mind is that the conversation happens with or without you. Even when you are not listening, people are talking about you. The people in social media are actively engaged in conversations about you, your friends, and your products. They talk about you whenever they want, however they want or to whomever they want. Conversations can also seem one-sided until you look deeper into comments, ratings, and reviews of the user-generated contents on social media sites. For example, blog posts. It seems that they are written by someone just spouting off your thoughts, opinions, and experience with their brand or products. But did you see comments or checkbacks? Who else is mentioning this blog post about your company or its product or services? What is more, don't miss out the opportunities to converse. AT&T company is a typical example for it. AT&T has great line of commercial, but these commercials were not on AT&T account when the commercials started appearing on video sharing sites. The company is missing out on a conversation and also missing out a brand op opportunity to promote these clever commercials on their website or even lead people to view them via YouTube accounts or their websites. So much opportunities exist for active engagement. As you know that, Web 2.0 is user-generated content and media. Companies have to be aware that conversations exist and they really have no control over them. Trying to control the conversations can not only result in revolt. On the contrary, listening and actively participating is a company's best course of action when discovering any kind of conversation in social media environment. You should be humble. When you first discovered conversation and trying to enter and participate in the conversation and understand them. Next is to find your audience and understanding how, where, how and where members are having these conversations. From there, you can plan a strategy that involves getting engaged in the conversations in a positive manner. Social communities whether they are online or offline, have interesting dynamics. To make any kind of headway with the community, you need to understand how each individual community functions before trusting or saying, hey, can I join the party too? Therefore, the second thing for preparations is trying to understand each community. To do that, First, you need to read the rooms. One of the simplest things marketers can do to understand where a community draws its lies and defies its norms is to read the rooms. Most rooms are prominently displayed where all members can assess them. Often, community members will point other members directly to them for reference purposes. For example, Consider the rules and regulations of a forum called Create a Site Forum. You will notice that this particular set of rules inform page rank seekers that they won't get any value from posting them into the forum. In social media website, the administrators or owners of the community will add information about the number of links you can post on the signature or in the post. Therefore, if you violate one of these rules, you can fight yourself out of the community with even a second. 
thought and the chance to engage with the creative audience you thought would be blown. After you read the rules carefully, you should observe, look, listen and learn. The oldest God gave you two ears, two ears and only one mouth. It's a wonderful way to think about how should get started with, our, with social media. Having a bit of humility is important, especially when dealing with online communities. A great example of listening to the audience via a social media channel is the case of Canadian grocery store chain Loblaws. Lobs not knew that they had a winner with store brand BBQ sauce. Lobs not won the first prize at BBQ Festival in the Ojax. They heard from the customer how great the sauce tasted, but still could not could not understand why it wasn't selling better. Once once Loblaws put product reviews on their website, they discovered the bottle design. The bottle was too torn for most fridge doors and it had to be on the top shelf. Once they listened and knew what customer really wanted, they addressed it and now sales on of the BBQ sauce are great. Along with observing how the community is talking about you and your products and service, comes learning to understand the norms or unwritten rules of your community. These unwritten rules can sink, can sink a ship or help it to sail successfully to its destination. For example, in communities that speaks about medical conditions, it's perfectly normal to post pictures of dirty baby diapers so that the moms who concerned can determine whether her child has a food allergy. This norm can be as simple as jargon that a special language of a particular company or industry is used to describe everyday things. They can also be as complicated whether the, com the community has a preferred or mandated method for doing so. The key to understanding all those norms is first to observe the community in action and learn how members interact with one another. After a few weeks of watching and observing the interaction within community, you can pick up all those small idiosyncrasies that you had missed if you just jumped right in claiming to be the expert or use a buzz monitoring to pull out the post about you. Along with uncovering community's unwritten rules, company needs to determine the baking order, who is the post who is the boss in the community. When you learn who who's the true influencers in the community are, it can make your efforts a lot easier. Being aware of who has the influence to affect how other community members view or perceive their brand, your product or service is more important than even striking up a conversation with them. With community administrator, you should be forthright and honest about who you are and why you are there. Don't try to just slip into the community and start marketing to members. Just make sure you understand how to relate to each type of community member before you start engaging them. The toughest thing for marketers to swallow is that community has to be marketed to. After years of push marketing from TV commercials and radio sports, consumer has finally found refuge in online social communities. These are places where they can talk about their passions and loves, uninhabited by marketing messages, constantly pushed in the, that direction. Most marketing firms or PR agencies tend to look at the social media sites and marketing tactics instead of parts of an entire social media strategy. Communities want to share their experience with you and their fellow community members. Therefore, it is encouraged that sharing is the best marketing message. It is something you cannot pay for. It's something you cannot expect. However, it is something you can engage with and turn into success for the social media strategy. 
In a lot of cultures, it is customary when coming a party or even to bring a gift for the host or hostess. In fact, when show empty-handed, other guests might look down on you or not honoring this custom. You might even get cold shoulder from a few other attendees because they perceive the actions as rude. Therefore, the third important thing to prepare for social media marketing is to come bearing gifts. But no community is the same, so no one side fits all. Same pack of your product or service will serve as a gift as the community will accept. So audience research is so important. Sitting back for a few weeks observing what communities find most valuable will allow you to tailor and personalize the gift you give them. Blinding touring gifts into the community can lead to wasted effort. Free supermarket gifts away work create offline because they are like an instant impulse by an when you are spending 100 US dollars or more on groceries, on a free sample always appears to shoppers passing by. But in this example, you are not dealing with a group of people who spend hours discussing their passions. It is a different community. Social media co communities aren't su the supermarket. Information about your product or service can soccer the globe in mere seconds, but community members spend hours discussing and sharing experience with your brand, your products and services. To some members in this community, those free giveaway are just like everyone else can get. If you don't show up the right gift, customers just might slam the door in your face. When you are dealing with members of a passionate community, sometimes the right gift isn't a physical thing. This member often find content more valuable than the product you sell. Content can become a valuable community in online communities that are passionate about your industry, your brand, your product, or your first service. Content can be text on a web page either videos, photos, or postcards all serve as great forms of content. Putting up all the latest slide presentation on a slide sharing sl site about how someone can check out your product and have even more fun with it can be very powerful piece of content to share in a community. What is important to understanding what community members deem of value not what you think is valuable. If you are expecting members to give something in turn for your gifts, you will be waiting for a very long time. So don't expect the community to give freely. Members of these online communities are very skeptic, skeptical of marketers and tend to have some serious aversions to attempts to be marketed to. Members of social media communities aren't dumb. They understand that eventually some kind of marketers will be part of this community. The approach the marketer takes is a relevant issue. For example, let's say your public relations team decides to issue a press release now that you have no enter the social media sphere and join a particular online community. Your PR team wants to share the press release with online community and attempt to engage members. One of two things will happen. You will hear only the sound of tripping crickets, and the audience will call you out for being a plot heart marketer. Just because you come bearing gifts doesn't mean community will fully give you what you want in turn. Remember, it's not about me, it's about community. You are getting paid by your company to interact with the community. But remember that most of the other community members you are engaged with do not get paid to interact. 
They are giving up their valuable time to share the things they are most passionate about. They feel that the time they dedicate to the community is valuable and that they get something just as valuable in return. Hence, remember that a community's member's time is just as valuable as yours. Marketers need to keep in mind that they should reward or compensate members they engage with and those they ask for something in return. The audience is full of brilliant people who have lives and give their time to their passion or hobby. When you show respect to the community, the social media marketing strategies has a much better chance to succeed. Almost any company on the planet can give a coupon. Entering into a social media community with an idea of giving the same coupons you print in the new paper will get you very far. You can make coupon programs work in social media communities in several ways. First, offer community-specific promotions. Second, offer limited time promotions. Third, limit coupon distribution method. Five, don't tell the community the coupon is coming. Dress it up. Community members don't always have to do something or engage with you in, or in order for you to reward them. Of course, thanking community members by giving them a gift of some sort will be appreciated. However, you will really get the attention of a community if you give what is not expected. Unexpected giving creates a third wind, a boost, and appreciation. For example, consider a company fresh book based out of Toronto, Canada. The final piece of the coming period gifts proposal is to not to expect anything in return. When you give a gift to a person face to face, generally you don't expect anything in return. Dealing with online community shouldn't work any differently. Example, when in loop dealing with blockers, you build a report with them first, and then this report in a place. You have an opportunity to send a gift or a free sample to blockers. You know, could be interested. It's when you give uh, without expectation that you will find the greatest rewards in social media. Not two businesses are the same. Even if you sell the same pro uh, products or services, the competitions have different marketing approaches, target demographics, brand loyalist ethics, on how the community is run and employees. Therefore, the final thing you should always think about is every business is different. If a cookie cutter approach to social media marketing did exist, the process would be more of a commodity much as building websites has become. Any business can buy a domain name and hosting form companies such as GoDaddy.com and get a website off and running it with little effort. But effective social media marketing involves research, strategy, planning and measuring. The results of that research will vary for each company. So the most effective social media platforms and social marketing plans will vary too. Companies need to focus on specially designing their own, uh, their own social media marketing strategy. Doing something that competition is doing, it is not a wise strategy. Just because your competition has block does not mean that you need to develop a right away. You might find that uh, making me making your competitor's social media marketing efforts does not result in the same gains or the same uh, fit pains for your company. If you are focused on competing with your competitors, you re your real audience might be elsewhere talking about your company and you will miss it. Without doing research and instead of just following the sound of someone else beating drum, you are blindly applying marketing tactics without a sound marketing strategy. Most important, just because your competitors are doing, it doesn't mean you need to do it too. No two businesses are alike. 
even if they are competing for nearly the same market share. One of the best resources for learning about your audience is to ask the customer so service, service people who are on the front lines every day. The customer relate to your experiences, both good and bad, to your customer service people. They likely to have some insight information about the popular sentiment about your company, its brand, its product or services. The customer service employees have a great gift of being able to listen and to be empathic in a genuine way. Otherwise, they won't be working in customer service. The social media marketing people need to have traits similar to your customer service employees. So, a great customer service department is a great extension to, into the social media. A great example of company with top-notch customer service and social media effort is Southwest Airlines. Southwest is known for having one of the best customer service departments in the airline in industry. Its employees, including gate employees, pilots, and flight attendants, are always friendly, have smile on their face, and try to provide the best service to their customers. Southwest entered the social media sphere with the nuts and nuts about uh, Southwest blog. This, is, uh, this has helped humanize the allies. The success of their blog has promoted the company to venture into videos, photos, and even Twitter's Southwest approach to social media. Won't necessarily work as well as for other allies because each ally service different customers and provide different levels of customer service. Listening to the customer can do amazing things for the insight into building a successful social media strategy. If you listen to the audience, you can discover how different you are from your competition. Give you more, give you more information about your products and service that you could have uh, never gotten offline. Listening to the audience is the key, but you should also listen up to your competitors' audience, brand loyalties, people who are technically loyal to your brand and who recommend your products, uh, the company products or services without promoting are a golden ticket. Brand loyalists love you and everything about you. If you engage and interact with this brand loyalist, magic, you can, magic can happen. So your brand loyalist can make all this difference in the world. Every company want to have brand loyalists within a social media community. They share their experiences, the love, and the way they use the products and services. Best of all, they do all this because they are passionate about your company. And they do it without expecting anything in return. Identifying those key influencers and knowing how to connect to, with them in a genuine manner is crucial to their success. Your employees are on the front line every day with your customers. Giving your employees a little authority to make decisions helps the company as the whole connect better with the customer, both offline on and online. The customer will soon be sharing the great customer service they receive with other members of the social media community. Companies need to be open to change. Every social media platform is different, and your audience is unlikely to stay in one particular room. The key is that every company is different, and marketers need to create a social media strategies that are specific to them. Companies shouldn't use a cookie-cutter approach to social media and expect success, or worse, expect not to fail. So I have introduced to you how to prepare for the marketing on social media. There are four important things you should remember. The first is, conversation happens with or without you. 
Secondly, you should understand each community is different. Thirdly, comparing gifts. And finally, every business is different. Thank you for your listening.